Hello guys, Armies here. Today I want to show you a full tutorial on NearMap. NearMap is a great tool that can provide you with the high resolution images that you can use for your logistic creation in SketchUp. I want to show you a different tab and how can you start your initial logistics on NearMap. Without further ado, let's jump into NearMap so we can see the process. So let's first look at the interface for NearMap. On the left hand side you have your projects layers which contains all the markup created on this page and then you have the exports uh, marker basically gives you all the data for the location that you select just a regular image and the snapshot text and all the measurement tool that you have in a different kind of format so let's just start from the bottom over here we have a view switcher it has two different options split the view you can change the time and basically you can kind of move this and you can see if any diff if any progress happened in that area but if you want to have the same image you can select the mirror view then you can kind of change this timeline and you can see the differences the next one would be just the base map it shows the angle that you're looking at this image so vertical is exactly like from the top you have panorama and uh, you have oblique with a little bit of angle and the roads it basically shows you just the roads and the location of that area that you're looking at so let's just uh, start from these locations so the marker as I mentioned if I place it anywhere you're gonna gives you all the data all the coordinates and everything for that location that you selected the next one is just the image so when you click you just create a snapshot and these are kind of the measurement tools right so I use the line when I export an image from near map to SketchUp this is gonna give me the exact distance or the measurement from one location to another location so i can use these to scale this image in my sketch so uh, let's say i have this measurement over here everything comes with a different color naming that you can kind of change and right here on the left hand side you can see the length and the angle and every single markup comes with the units that you can select exactly what type of unit you want um, let's just start with these polygon let's say i want to do this area it's going to be like a word ship this is what i am supposed to put my fencing for this area and i can um, also see for each uh, length uh, perimeter area for each line and the whole area that I have and also I can use the text to name it let's say fence one for phase one and you can change the font and the color if you want to move it or you want to kind of move it inside a little bit easier you can use just a rectangular um, let's say I want to only do this middle of the field right here in this parking garage this is gonna be where I'm gonna put my fence I'm gonna name it again I'm gonna do let's say fence two phase one and I mean you can do the same thing you can place it here and if you click on this one you can see area perimeter length width and everything that comes with this they have circle as well so if you have some area that you want to get a measurement of or you want to place something um, like in circle shape this is a great tool to use you can change the color if you want to a different color and right here you can see all the notes right so area circumference uh, radius and all the other info that you need over here um, if you go to project this is where you can kind of get all your projects and if you go to the next option below this is the layer so everything that you have in your workspace is going to be saved over here you can turn them on and off so i can turn these on and off uh, for every single item that you can see so these are the text this is the kind of the whole area kind of go away so it's going to help you make it a little bit nicer 
two little option over here boundaries which basically give you a detailed parcel information with all of these kind of orange lines and you can use these roads overlay so basically just overlay roads on your areas so I can kind of see I can see the name of the roads over here around this area and I can kind of change the background to see those roads it's just a little bit better so you can kind of use these as well the last option which is really important and we need is to export two different types one is just a high resolution image uh, basically sending out an image from the area that you created and the highest resolution in near map is 0 0.075 and this is gonna change based on this box so if you make this box bigger it might change to 0 0.149 but I would recommend to keep the box size that you have at the highest resolution so you can get the best image out of near map the next export is a georeferenced image. So this one is basically the area, export the area of your georeference file. So it has a file that gives you the coordinate for that area. So if you want to use the georeference, you can kind of use this option, but um, I'm sticking to the high resolution. I just export this from the near map, put it in my SketchUp and basically scale it. Thank you guys for watching today's episode near map. I'm hoping that I showed you a few tips and tricks on how you can export images from near map and place it in your sketch or for your logistics. If you like the content, please subscribe and leave a like and let me know in the comment section down below what would you like to learn in this process. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.